Let's talk about the latest kid on the block with regard to the primary markets. Now, IRCTC makes its debut on the bourses today. The ticketing and catering arm of the Indian Railways has already received a warm response, with the issue being subscribed nearly 112 times. Somit Sarkar is here to take you through the listing scenario. Good morning, Somit. I'm assuming, of course, that it's looking very good for IRCTC. Well, the listing is actually looking very good, Alex, and good morning, firstly. So, if you see, the company had raised close to 638 crore rupees uh, through an offer for sale and had issued close to 2 crore shares at around 320 rupees. And the subscription numbers, if you see, the total subscription numbers were 112 times, with most of the demand coming in from the HNI portion, which was subscribed nearly 355 times. The QIP portion was subscribed close to 109 times, while the retail portion also saw a strong subscription of close to 15 times. On the back of the strong demand, the stock is also expected to open at a premium. Now, the grey market premium for this company is at close to 210 rupees, thereby indi indicating a listing uh, 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 listing a premium of close to 66 percent to its issue price. So, let's see how the valuations would stack up. Now, the issue price of 320 rupees, the market capitalization of the company was close to 5,100 crore rupees. The price to earnings was 18.8 .8 times, price to book 4.9 times, market cap to sales 2.7 times and if it were a bit at close to 10.7 times. Now, if it less at a premium of 200 rupees, then the share price would be close to 520. Market capitalization would be close to 8,300 crore rupees. Price to earnings at 30.5 times, price to book at 8 times, market cap to sales at 4.5 times and EV to EBITDA at 19.3 times. And if it less at around 280 rupees premium, then the uh, share price would be close to 600. Market cap would be close to 9,600 crore rupees. Price to earnings would be 35.2 times, price to book would be 9.2 time, uh, 9.2 times market cap to sales would be close to 5.1 times, and the company's EV to EBITDA would be close to 22.7 times. Uh, but Samit, let's also quickly take our viewers through the business model and financials once again. In fact, we have a view, few viewers who are indicating that they have one lot and they're interested in that listing price that you just talked about. So, if you see the companies in the business of online ticketing, travel and tourism, catering and manufacturing of packaged drinking water. Now, in our ticketing, in the online ticketing business, the volumes are more than 2.5 crore per month, while in the catering business, it provides food services to Indian railways. While in packaged drinking water, it operates under the brand Real Need. Now, on the revenue front, if you see the company generates most of its revenue from the catering business, followed by uh, travel and tourism, internet ticketing and packaged drinking water. But on the bottom line front, it is the online ticketing business which generates most most of the um, profits for the company that is because of the higher margins as you can see here it generates only 67 percent margins from the online ticketing business followed by package drinking water where the margins are close to 17 percent travel and tourism where it is 15.3 percent and catering where it is close to 11 percent now if you see it has no peers in India and it has it has a monopoly kind of business. And if you see the financials of the company, over FY17 to FY19, the company's revenue net profit and EBITDA grew at a CAGR of 10.3% and 9.1% each. And its average EBITDA margin over FY17 to FY19 was close to 20%. On the balance sheet side, if you see it's a debt-free company with close to 1100 crore rupees as cash on its book and the cash value per share is close to 71 rupees, while its book value per share is close to 65 rupees. On the return ratio side, if you see the company compared to FY18, all the three return ratios, that is return on equity, return on capital employed and return on asset have increased in FY19 and for FY19 the return on equity stood at close to 27%, return on capital employed stood at close to 32% while return on asset was close to 11% for ICTC in FY19.